Hello, Ironbolt here. Welcome to my penetration testing tool tutorial series on Kali Linux. In this series we are going to go over numerous tools useful for penetration testing that are either included in the Kali distro or can be easily installed on the system. Today we are going to go over Guhost. This is the Guhost website. You can locate it at www.aldi.com in their wiki page under Guhost. What is Guhost? Guhost is a simple command line bash shell script written to search Google's website engines for IP addresses, host names, and email addresses that belong to a target's domain. Pen testers use this information to further understand the attack surface of their client's computer system. IP addresses and domain names are useful to begin mapping out the client's network, and email addresses are useful to create profiles on the employees of the client as well as to create a list of login IDs useful for brute force attempts on hosts that might offer a login portal. So let's get started. So you open a command window. First thing we're going to do is make a directory. going to cd and down into that directory. Then we're going to use wget to retrieve this file from the internet. we've downloaded it and now we're going to change the file so that it is executable with the plus X option and as you can see we now have it installed by running it without any command line switches you can see the full syntax for the script and just so that you can see that it is indeed a bash script Now if you go ahead and run this command, you can see the full syntax for it. Dash T for target domain, like Microsoft.com, and dash M for method. And there's three options for method, IP, host, and mail. IP allows you to do Google searches for IP addresses for a certain domain. Host gives you host names for that domain, and mail would give you email addresses that are part of that domain. And then following through, dash P for pages. This script downloads pages from Google and you can increase that from the default of 5 all the way up to 20 or as low as 1. The dash V for verbosity basically just gives you an option for how much information you want to dump out. It's very good when you're say writing a script using Guhost. Uh, you may want this information on at the beginning and then you might want to uh, turn it off uh, after you've got your information working the way that you want it and and you just want a cleaner looking script. Okay, now it's time for a demo. We're going to go ahead and target avast.com with Guhost. So we type in Guhost dash T for the domain, the target domain. And we're going to start with dash M for host. Here we go. As you can see, it saved this into a report. And it's in the same working directory here, so we're going to cat it out. And there you go, handful of avast.com host names. Now we can go ahead and clear our screen, hit an up arrow, and change it from host to IP. And we have our results again that we're going to cat out. And as you can see, we now have both the host name and the IP address for that host name. Then the final option is to extract email addresses. I'm actually very disappointed in the feature of this script because I've yet to be able to get it to work. 
my feeling is that the, there are some significant limitations on using uh, searches in Google that have an at sign in them because this is really used for email harvesting so that you can create email address lists to sell to people to send spam. So Google makes it quite hard to do that. So as you can see from our search here, zero results, nothing was found. Now I dug into the script and I looked at it and I, I do see some options that this could be uh, converted into something that would work, but you're going to find in future uh, tutorials that we can find these email addresses with a different tool. So I'm going to leave that as a broken feature at this point and uh, you know just look for a future option down the road here. And then just finally uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to show you the dash p for the number of pages really won't uh, show you anything more than what you've seen already but I will fire this off with the dash v for verbosity and you can see something very good here and this is uh, what I used to do my research on why the mail option wasn't working very well in uh, the product is that it actually gives you the Google query so you can actually cut and paste that Google query into Google and go ahead and mess with it and change it in the way that you want so that it does what you want so uh, that's a little hint that you can use if you wanna take the idea of Google host and use it in your own script directly rather than calling Google host so that's everything I have to show you on Google host come back next week and see if I've got any more videos online Iron Bolt out.